I wanted to make this video to give you an overview and walkthrough of some of the features available to you at the Power Platform Admin Center. The first thing you want to do is navigate to the environment screen and then we're going to select one of our environments here. You can select the ellipses here and then select settings or you can click settings at the top. It's personal preference, whatever you want. So real quickly, at a very high level, I want to run through some of the things that you can control and configure here. So first of all, in this product area, you can expand this. We've got behavior, collaboration, and features, which are all really important areas. I'm going to open up features and just talk to some of the things that you can do. Thing number one, I think we've talked about this in prior articles that I've written here. Dataverse search, you can turn it on. If you're in a production environment, this is turned on by default. If you are in a sandbox or a trial environment like this one is, it's turned off by default. So you'll need to turn it on here. We've got a lot of AI information here. You can turn on or off access to the AI builder and these are environment level settings you can configure. AI suggestions for formula columns. This is a really cool preview feature and you'll start to see things pop up in this specific area in your organization settings that are in preview and this is where you can control it. Power BI visualization, Bing Maps, lots of really cool things and Grids and Views has a couple cool things here. Again, Focused View is going to show up here. It's still not here yet in my tenant org. If I head back one screen, we're back into the major settings area. There's business settings here. There are users and permissions information here. This is where you can control your security model and things, again, from that environment level perspective that you want to check out. All of your templates. So if you want to configure and create some email signature templates, email templates, document templates that you want to use within your apps, you can do that here. Email, this is a really important spot if you haven't configured your server-side sync and your email profile and tested, enabled, and turned on and approved all of your mailboxes, this is where you handle that. We've got integration settings, this is where you can turn on and configure your SharePoint, OneNote configurations and document settings, as well as your team integration, and if you're still using Yammer, you can do that here. Resources is your Dynamics app for Outlook, and data management is another really important area where you can set up and manage your duplicate detection rules and jobs. I want to show you one other thing that's important when you're talking about your environment and that's under the resources area. You can head to capacity and then this is letting you know what your storage capacity is, how much storage you have available in your entire tenant across all of your orgs, um, as well as where that information is allocated. So there's overview of information on the capacity area here. You can head over to Dataverse, and then this I found really, really helpful. If you find the specific environment that you're looking for, we're going to click the graph here, and that's going to show me a deep dive of what's going on in that specific environment. So here's my database usage, and I can see exactly which tables are consuming the most database information. We could check out file as well, log usage, and then you can see in this specific environment, it's giving me some ideas of what I can do to help manage this table. So if you're in charge of keeping an eye on the storage in an environment, this is a place you should definitely be checking out.